guys welcome to my first tutorial video after getting the Ein Thor as promised I'm gonna show you how to use the Azahar emulator to play fantastic 3DS on this great machine and to basically get from this old school boring picture to what I would say is a bit of an improvement in terms of uh, graphical quality uh, look at this nice and smooth on the twin OLED screens yeah obviously don't mind the driving here as I'm just using one hand and the other hand to film so let's dive in into what to do step one update your device I assume you might have already done that um, usually it shows up right when you fire up your Ein Thor. There is the latest version here. Just click on update. It's a 10 to 15 minutes process, including the restart. So I always recommend to check uh, for the latest version. Tiny improvements, but uh, probably worthwhile. Then we have step two format the SD card. Obviously, if you use one, if you are not using one, you can skip that step. But I think it's important to know that if you want an SD card that is formatted to XFAT and not FAT32, meaning that you um, yeah, can use files that are larger than uh, 4 gigabytes, you need to go to the three dots here, click on Format another way. You format it first as an internal storage hear me out that's on purpose this way you get it to xfat which obviously you can also do with your computer but assuming you want to do as much as you can on the ein thor um, that is one way to do it so let's just wait a second for it to be formatted as internal storage which basically will merge it to the internal storage so um, if we know moving the content, click on the left and you see here basically the SD card is gone as it is merged. So what we have to do here, we go into settings, storage, select the SD card, three dots, format it here, which eliminates it as an internal storage and basically make sure that it reappears as an external storage, but still formatted in the XFAT format. So exactly what we wanted here. Just take a bit. Again, I mean, that's something you can um, do on your computer if you want to do it. And if you anyhow are loading games uh, from the SD card reader on the computer, but um, that's how I usually do it. So from here, let's click, go into the files again. And there it is, the SD card called Thor. I'm gonna briefly show you how you can create your folder here for your ROMs. Click on new folder, call it ROMs or however you want to call it. And within ROMs, we are already going to create the new folder called 3DS. Then we are going to install Azar. Uh, the link is down below. Um, you can also use Citra MMJ here. Uh, your mileage may, may vary. Depends a bit on what you want to achieve. Accuracy versus um, well, having the newest emulator in this case and maybe some life ease of life improvements. On the website, we scroll down, we go to Android and then the release pages and we download the APK from there. You can also download it from the Google Play Store, but I prefer to do it like that. We click on the Android Universal APK, download it anyway. Yes, we do. As we know, this is hopefully a trustworthy source. And from there, we just need to allow Chrome to actually allow this source. You click install and that's it. There it is, Azahar. 
the first start let's see how it looks like we basically need to give some permissions uh, to things that the app needs to access notifications allow microphone while using the app allow camera while using the app allow we click on next and that's where we have the user folder which stores the other settings and then the application folder which is the folder for the games um, let's select the user folder here which um, probably makes sense to have it on the internal storage at least i selected to do so you can also have it on the external one but i think the internal is going to give you less of an issue we create a folder there called azahar use this folder allow and again okay and here for the applications you can use that same folder if you use your internal storage or the SD card folder that we created, which I will then also show you. You get the message here right away that we need a special encryption for our decrypted 3DS files. Um, I'll show you in a bit what that means. This is the menu selection here. You have everything from the general selections to more specific user interface and graphical selections. You can also play around a bit, but uh, I suggest that, well, pretty much we, um, we talk about the topic of the files, right? So um, you need decrypted 3DS files, which usually means if you have a, a dump and it is a CIA file, it's not going to work in Azar, uh, so we need to either use a batch tool, a Windows batch tool, to get it from encrypted to decrypted, or um, you download decrypted files right away. Uh, your mileage will vary. I, I suggest that you just Google um, on how to decrypt CIA files and you take it from there, right? Otherwise, you will get this message. It will not show the logo, um, the game, um, as you can see here. So, uh, yeah. So once we did that, let's have a look at a quick Azar config. And uh, what do we need to do to get everything up and running? We go into Azar again. You see here, I have a nice Mario Kart 7 logo, which means I included the right format the cci file and here i also make sure that i have my external folder now selected it's called the application folder and we go into settings what we want to do here is gamepad i already did that Take your time to go through the inputs, uh, the buttons, obviously, shoulder buttons, triggers, C-stick, D-pad. It's quite straightforward, but, you know, take some concentration and time to do it. Um, then we have the graphics. In the graphics, what we need to do is to change the internal resolution. I wouldn't bump it up more than three times. It's not really worth it on the screen. And then we go to layout. In the layout, you want to select single screen for landscape and for the secondary display screen layout, the bottom screen to make sure that we have that on our bottom screen that we have with the Ein Thor. From here, let's start it up. Let's see what happens. Now in this screen grab you will not see the bottom screen. If you swipe from the left the controller overlay, that's something that you might need to deactivate the first time you start it. There it is, without controller overlay. I have the FPS counter on. Um, as you see, runs quite smoothly. Um, otherwise, I mean, feel free to play around. Uh, by selecting uh, Vulcan versus uh, OpenGL. But yeah, this is it's quite smooth. I didn't have any crashing issues, etc. So yeah, great experience. Have fun.
playing the 3DS here. Don't crash. If you like the video, subscribe, like the video and leave a comment in case of question. Thanks a lot. That was Disco Disco Gaming.